So, a few years ago, someone or some group of people had this great idea. Uh, let's create a festival in Jackson, bring in some amazing artists, well, let's call it Bright Walls. And so next weekend is the end of this journey that has gone on for several years, even before COVID. And some of the artists are in town right now prepping for the event that will be taking place next weekend. So join me as we take a look at the preview to Bright Walls conclusion here in Jackson with a walk around town and we'll take a snapshot of several of the shots or the works, let's call it that, that have taken place already and take a few shots at what is underway for this year's event. There are some uh, pre-festival people taking some photos. Uh, even just today, but uh, in the other times I've been downtown, people are coming to town and coming to downtown because of these great pieces of work and the idea that was put forth by different people from the area to kind of make this way to beautify the city, honor the artists, and uh, create something that is unique. Kind of hard to see with this old drive through here, but it's just an impressive piece. So I'm going to speculate that uh, possibly Tournament Central, I guess, for this year will be over here with the 10. I'm going to guess that's just uh, something going to be happening there. Just uh, I don't know what it is, but I bet it is.
Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I, I thought I was recording, but <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know, that's for wannabe, you know, YouTubers like me. Uh, awesome. Well, once again, thanks for coming to town. Day three of the project. Absolutely. All right. Yeah, my dog size, UK. All right, man, I got that. Thank you. All right, here is another project going on. The bright walls. This one is uh, with an artist from France who is in town. I'm going to call it, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. How do you pronounce your name? Edavi. Well, welcome to town. Thank you. Yeah, good luck with everything. Hope you have a great week. So last year, was the first video that I shot for this channel it was here at Bright Walls and they were doing a lot of work over here in the parking lot and had a contest for contributors to create product on the signs on the parking lot and these are some of the work that were done by the artists. And so, yeah, it's kind of fun that as we're entering the one year anniversary of this guy's wannabe channel that we're wrapping it up with our year one of videos with the end of the festival here in town. Try not to get license plates on the videos, but anywhere anyway here are those So, Kit from Melbourne. All right, Another project going on over here. Going on over here too. Jax from North Carolina. Assuming that has something to do with that project up there, maybe? No, no. So there is Michelle Hogveld from Montreal. All right. Well, there is our preview of Bright Walls 2022 coming up next weekend here in Jackson, Michigan. Uh, in this video, you'll see lots of the work that has been done before. Also got some shots of some of the things that are going on right now for next week. Uh, if you're interested, I would encourage you, if you get a chance to come down to Jackson at some point this weekend, this week or in the future, and uh, see these amazing uh, pieces of art, uh, I gotta be honest, I'm a person who's, who's um, newer to the art game and so just the, the gifts and talents that are on display I find truly amazing. So uh, you guys have a great week and we'll see you sometime in the future. I'll include some information in the descriptive links below this video as to where you can find out more information about the people who are involved in the organization. I don't know if the Bright Walls people have information about all the artists but uh, I'd encourage you to maybe check that out. See what you can find out for yourselves.